What's good, y'all? I am Rich Sosa. And today, thank y'all for stopping by, showing the family the love, the support. And again, y'all, I just want to say thank y'all for coming through. I know y'all gonna enjoy this banger. Welcome to the channel. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Oh, and welcome to join the Rich Gang family, y'all. To all my returning supporters of the Rich Gang family, let's go ahead and get 15 likes on this video. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last but not least, be sure to turn on those post notifications. So you can see when I upload every single day and when I go live, y'all. But let's get right into this video. The build that I'm going to be bringing out is going to be the two-way stretch four, y'all. Now, let's get right into the making. Now, the position that we are going to go ahead and pick is going to be the power forward position, y'all. This is a stretch four. So we're going to go ahead and pick the four position. And I'm telling y'all, this build is definitely going to be useful depending on the type of player that you use, y'all. Now, let's get right into the pie charts, y'all. You might be thinking, two-way stretch four, we might have to pick a pie chart with half defense. Nope, we're going to pick the one that's full green, y'all. That's what we're going to make to make this two-way stretch four. And I'm telling y'all, you're going to be able to have lockdown takeover. For the physical profile... I truly believe that you're going to want to go ahead with the one that has the 62 speed, 64 strength, and a 60 excel with the 48 vertical. Reason being is because on these type of builds, when you make it at the height that I do, your vertical tends to stay very low. You don't have to pick the physical profile that I picked, but I suggest that you do if you want to make this build the best possible. Now for your stats breakdown, go ahead and put your driving layup at a 62 and driving dunk at a 58 and that is all we're going to do to that category now for your shooting of course you're going to want to go ahead and max out your midi your three point go ahead and put your free throw at a 71 and to get post scoring takeover i mean i'm giving y'all keys bro but go ahead and put your post fade at a 95 and that's going to give you 28 shooting badges y'all that's going to be seven hall of fame badges and I'm telling y'all, the way we're going to make this build is going to be awesome. For your defense, go ahead and max out pretty much every single thing on your defense, y'all, to get those 10 defensive badges. You can make it differently to where you get 14 playmaking instead of 6, but you're not going to have enough of the defensive badges. So the way that I would make it is exactly with the setup of 1, 28, 6, and 10, y'all. That is going to help you so much more on defense with the extra badges that we're going to get for this build. Y'all know my body type. I love picking Burly. This is literally my favorite body type just because of how it makes your build look. For the height, you can make it at a few different heights. I know for sure you can make it at 6'8", 6'9", and 6'10". But once you go into the 6'11 range, it's going to come up as a three-level scorer, which is what we don't want. So I went ahead and picked 6'10", max my weight all the way as well with my wingspan. See, your strength is still not that bad. Your vertical still tends to be low, but your speed and excel, again, if you make this build a bit shorter at 6'8", the stats for the defense are still going to be pretty, even more balanced, if I'm saying. They're going to be a lot more balanced, but I want to make this build as tall as I possibly can because y'all remember in past 2K, stretches were not tiny. They were at least 6'10", 6'9", and up, y'all, and that's the way that I'm trying to replicate this build. So I'm going 6'10", maxing everything out, and look at the takeovers that we get. Sharp shooting, rim protector, post scoring, and glass cleaning, y'all. Again, this is all based on your preferred type of play style for the takeover that you want to pick. For me, I was really thinking about glass cleaning takeover for this build, even post scoring as well. But to be more OP, to make it a two-way, I picked rim protector, and look, y'all, we get a stretch for build, y'all. This build, I'm telling y'all, it looks really nice, especially with the takeovers that you get. And the way I made it, I have not seen anybody else make it, especially with getting that glass cleaning takeover, which I think is something special. And I think you should really consider doing that. 
if you want to get more boards on this build but again your defensive stats are going to be really nice y'all regardless at what height you pick if you want to be 6'9 to be a little more balanced go ahead but i want my build again to be replicated like the past 2k's now for the finishing badge that i want to put on is going to be lob city finisher so that way i have an even higher chance of success when going for oops y'all because y'all know when you put on certain badges they unlock certain animations y'all a lot of people won't tell you that but i'm gonna go ahead and keep it real with y'all like i always do for your shooting we're gonna go crazy right here we're gonna go ahead and put up our dead eye deep phase hot zone hunter i would take over green machine this year because hot zone hunter makes you guys such a better shooter y'all range extender is ex is an essential yes essential badge I put on catch and shoot with this build since you're going to be really catching and shooting a lot of the times and pick and popper as well which is going to work with that badge and green machine as well because it's going to be very well, i wouldn't say very it's going to be easier to green than a normal build now essential badges for playmaking it's going to be quick first step and for me i'm going to put on flashy passer so that way when i get doubled it's an easy flashy pass to give my teammate a boost for their takeover for my defensive badges i'm going to put heart crusher on gold because when you have two good plays, it makes that person that you're guarding go cold, y'all. And again, you're going to be in the paint with this build. So go ahead and put on Rim Protector, Post Move Lockdown. You could even put a Rebound Chaser. For me, I'm definitely going to keep on Intimidator on every single build because that is a badge that always pops up on defense. I'm also going to put on Box, Pogo Stick, and Chase Down Artist. And I'm telling y'all, that's the badge setup we're going to have for this build. If y'all watched the entire video through, I just want to say thank y'all so much for your amazing support. Again, without any of y'all, none of this would be possible. We're going to hit 900 big supporters this week. And again, I just want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. And just know I love every single one of y'all. And y'all can reach out to me anytime you need something, y'all. I got y'all. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. All are welcome to join the Rich Gang family, y'all. To all my returning supporters of the Rich Gang, let's go ahead and get 15 likes on this video. Be sure to turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload and go live every single day. And be sure to share this banger with your family and friends, y'all. With all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.